Do you really think that Stefan and the DA have a thing? We really think he turned to her after me. Well, I mean, he can't be with you because of the deal you made with my brother, and you have to admit, she's beautiful. Okay, honey, let's get real here for a minute. Leo Stark lies for a living. Stefan, Stamara, they pay off DAs. They don't sleep with them. All right, so let's change the subject. Let's talk about your love life. Yeah, I don't think Johnny and I have much of a love life. It's more like a hang out and watch movies life. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Johnny. I was talking about Trip. You know, I'm in the square right now, but I'm happy to wait for you. Oh, um, that sounds so very sweet. <laughs> but I don't know how long I'll be. <laughs> um, I have to run. Uh, the man's here to check the security system. Oh, all right, well, I'll let you go then. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Want me to check the security system? Um, about that call. See, I can explain. You see, A. No, he's my slick. Oh, no, no. Come on. Paulina. Paulina. Everything that happens in this room is confidential. You don't have to explain anything to me. Oh, no, no, no. But I want to. Um, I'm not lying to my husband. <laughs> oh, of course I was. I flat out lied. But it wasn't meant to hurt him. It, it was to, uh, you see, he worries about me, and I don't want him to. It's not good for him. Like I said, you don't have to explain anything to me, okay? Now, could you uh, tell me why you're here? Well, I have an appointment with Dr. Greenberg. I guess he's running late. Uh, no, he actually got called into surgery. He asked me to handle your initial workup. It says Chanel made the appointment for you. One well, Dr. Greenberg's a cardiologist. Were you experiencing heart palpitations? I thought I was having a heart attack, but uh, Chanel's new hire. She said it was just a panic attack. Well, it's a good thing you came in. I'd much rather you get a diagnosis from a doctor than someone who buys his cakes for a living. Well, Talia Hunter is a great baker, but she also happens to be a full-fledged doctor. Doctor? Oh, oh, oh. well, good evening, detective. It's, it's nice to see you. I'm off duty. Why not call me Jada? Okay, Jada. <laughs> you know, I've been hearing really good things about your work. I love my job. Well, and has Commissioner Hernandez been treating you right? Oh, absolutely. He's a great boss. No, that's good to hear. You have a nice night. You too. <laughs> so, drop work. It's not working if you love it. I just made a strudel that was a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. You know, it's it's kind of weird hearing a doctor, well, ex-doctor, be so happy to triple their customers' cholesterol levels. Look, I know you think I'm wasting my medical degree, but once a doctor, always a doctor. Whatever you say. Oh, you don't believe me? Ask my boss's mother. She'll tell you. Just today, I performed a medical miracle. So you performed a medical miracle? Yes. Chanel's mother was convinced she was having a heart attack, and I diagnosed it as a panic attack. Wow. You know, that's right up there with the loaves and fishes. You always minimize my achievements. I've always spoke very highly of your cupcakes. They're works of art, huh? <laughs> you know, I could see Paulina having a panic attack. That Peterson woman is just dedicated to ruining her life. And Chanel's. So, what's happening with that investigation? It's ongoing. Oh, you've got fupkis, right? You want me to dish your little hot cross buns? Look, ongoing means first thing in the morning, we're going to go through everything we have and find some hard evidence to put that counselor Sloan Peterson in a cell where she belongs. First thing tomorrow, huh? So that means you're off tonight? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Get some takeout, watch TV, you know, life in the fast lane. <laughs> okay, stop. Let me ask you this. 